because uh, all this week and last week too, running is the All Ireland, the RTE All Ireland Drama Festival of 2016, uh, live in Athlone. Last night or yesterday, trying to get my head around whether it was yesterday or last night, uh, was day five, day six today, and standing by, waiting very patiently to tell us all about it. Here's Brenda Donoghue. Good afternoon, Lorcan. Hasn't the bank holiday got us all yeah, messed the, up with our days the and everything? The P's and Q's thinking of what you, the days. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was day five. You're 100% correct of the uh, RT All Ireland Drama Festival last night. Now, I went to see a totally different show and it was a totally different experience. Well, can I can I just say I want just uh, sorry now and I let you yes. off but uh, um, yeah because the last uh, okay a few occasions we were chatting yes. right mm. you needed the tissue for the the tears of laughter mm. right so go on yeah <laughs> yeah well this time I needed some kind of a dictionary a diary an explanation because I didn't really understand the play but that doesn't mean I'm a total philistine because I certainly wasn't alone because the judge had an issue with trying to understand what the play was. The cast, it's all about your own interpretation of it. And why wouldn't it be because it, it was a play written by Nobel laureate Har, Harl Pinter, old times, and it was done by the Ballyshannon Drama Society from Donegal. Previously, I'd seen two comedies, so it was all up and happy and whatever. This time, it was a play with a small cast, three people, very serious, a lot of pauses, very intense, a slow play, but one you really got into, and you got into these incredible performances, menacing performances, Mm. absolutely commanding on stage by the three cast, who are played by Trish Keane, Richard Hurst, and Rachel O'Connor from Ballyshannon Drama Society. And just to kind of set the play in context for people. Well, actually, I probably won't be able to, but anyway, <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, uh, you're off with you, yes. Its <laughs> it, 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 it setting is a converted farmhouse in England. It's an autumn night, possibly in the 1970s. And this is Pinter's greatest dramatic creation. You have Dealey and his wife, Kate, and they're visited by Anna, a mysterious friend of Kate from long ago. What begins as a trip down memory lane quickly becomes something more as the long, simmering feelings of fear and jealousy begin to fuel the trio's passions, sparkling a seductive and haunting battle of power. So you can feel the intensity there, the drama. And it was the judge's comments that really kind of set the whole t- thing in context for us because I've been thinking about the play since I left it. <laughs> really, Our judge is a gentleman called Patrick McIntyre and a lot of people yes. would know him from the night Joe Dolan's mm-hmm. car broke down. And he got up on the stage and he asked the audience, does anybody know what was that all about? <laughs> to which we all laughed and we clapped. <laughs> and he said... But that is the challenge. He said, I don't know what it was about as well, but it's up for us as the audience to make up our own minds. And that's what Harl Pinter does. He challenges the audience, and that's the very scary thing. His words do the work. So much so that um, uh, the famous actor Anthony Hopkins once played the part of Dealey. And he said to Harl Pinter, the writer himself, he said, come here, Harold. What's the play all about? <laughs> and Pinter said, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, now that you've said Anthony Hopkins didn't know, you're redeemed anyway. I'd, that's well, sure. the, the writer said to him, I don't know either, so there's a pair of them in it. <laughs> but uh, Park began with huge praise for the lighting and the set design, which really, really, really was excellent. The lighting was by Mark Fiernan, and the set design was by John Travers and mm-hmm. Trish Keane. And really, it was such an amazing backdrop to the play, the subtlety, all these amazing touches. And the lighting was absolutely superb. But really, the huge praise went out to each actor because they put on a tour de force up on that stage. Richard Hurst plays Dealey, which is a really tricky role. And what Porrick said about him was that he really understood. You know, it's all about the pauses. And, and to understand all the various conflicts that we need to feel that this man is going through on stage. He got that, nailed it, as he said. Kate was played by Rachel O'Connor, and she's the wife. She's quieter, she's more refined. Mm-hmm. And she has to live in this silence and then kind of let it rip with some very emotional monologues. And he described her performance as very convincing and very disturbing, <laughs> <laughs> which is a compliment. Yeah, I was way. just going to say, yeah. <laughs> 
And then finally, Anna was played by Trish Keane, and she is the visiting friend from long ago. And she plays this very sensual, menacing character. And really, to understand the play, it's or to take your mm-hmm. interpretation of the play, it is true the window of this character, Anna, that we yeah. get into the sense of the play. So overall, his concluding comments were three absolutely fine performances in a beautifully lit and a fantastic set. So really well done to everybody from Ballyshannon Drama Society for pulling off. And in a way, it was a confusing play, but by God, did you feel the power and the energy and they gave it everything. So congratulations mm-hmm. to them all for their interpretation of old times. Here, here. By Harold Pinter. Yeah. And sure, it has us talking still. Yeah, so, and... Um, well, the fact that Anthony Hopkins had to ask, that means that they carried it through to the letter of the law because if everyone there had to ask as well last night, what's it all about? What's it all about? <laughs> and, and the range of yeah. interpretations, I won't even go through them, but my head is now completely <laughs> fr- fried. <laughs> we'll have to talk more about this all fair. <laughs> we will, we will. But tonight, we're, we're in for something yeah. completely different. It is the Theatre Workshop from Dundalk and they're okay. going to present Glen Gary, Glen Ross by David Mammoth. And as as I said to you before, one of the things that's really impressed me, uh, Lorcan, about the RT All Ireland Drama Festival was not just the commitment of the actors and the time it takes the rehearsal. It's the get in and get out. Like yeah. that amazing set that was there last night, gone. Everyone's there with their drills and taking down the sets and the flats and the lighting. And straight away, first light this morning, we have Dundalk Theatre Workshop in, a huge crew putting in their set for Glengarry, Glen Ross. And again, full houses every night and everybody's leaving buzzing and chatting about the play and who said what, whatever, and, and great local support as well. So well, there's such choice there as well. Absolutely. There really is. Yeah. You go from your comedy, uh, your farces, to your very deep kind of questioning plays, mm-hmm. um, to obviously Glengarry, Glen Ross, and we have Moonshine coming up by the Bunclody uh, Drama Group and... Jane Eyre, so you have all types by the Dawkey players. So an awful lot to look forward to. There still yeah. is a couple of more days to go because the last performance is on Friday night and then on Saturday night they have a big gala dinner with awards and all of that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be the fun night. Yeah, no doubt you'll be uh, in attendance. I'll, I'll, get, the, I'll get the good <laughs> the tune guna, out. I, <laughs> well, listen, good luck to Glen Gary, Glen Ross uh, this evening and uh, lovely to talk to you. We'll talk to you again soon. Absolutely, Lorca. Okay. Stay home, everybody. Okay. Thanks, Brendan. Well, thanks.